Hello, this is Nick, also known as Mr. Blend 5000, coming to you one again, once again, for some strange reason, two days after his old video. I don't know how it happened, but I just found the time. So, before I get blundering, I have some pre Blender news for everyone. That's actually more things I saw that I just didn't understand. First of all, how the hell does that all fit in that backpack? Like seriously, the vo the combined volumes of all those objects are definitely greater than the volume of that backpack. Number two, since when the hell is Cookie Monster green? I don't know. Anywho, that's all I had to say. So, Blender, here we go. Wow. What we're gonna do today is, well, delete the default cube, that's for sure. <laughs> is we're going to do some more in the game engine, as per usual, because when don't I do things in the game engine? And we are going to do soft body. I just learned how to do this two days ago. I'm so pumped. And I feel like I should share this with everyone. Everyone. So let's just go ahead and start. Let's, let's go to our top view and add a plane. A plane, just like that. And let's go tab to edit mode. And we're going to subdivide the crap out of our plane. Just like that. And now, I don't know why, but in my computer, if I tr if I go to object mode and I size my plane up, when I go into the game engine with softbody, it reverts back to its original size. So I'm just going to tell you to scale it up in edit mode. Just, just, just scale it up in edit mode. No questions asked. And subdivide again. We have our very subdivided plane, and what we're going to do is we're going to go over to our little Pac-Man button, also known as our logic panel. I'm going to start client sentinels because everyone calls it a Pac-Man button, dear lord. And we're conveniently going to go right up to the soft body option under where it usually says static, and leave everything as is. I'm going to show you what happens if you change one of those later, but for now we're just going to leave them as is. And hit peaky. There we go. And, oh dear, it just fell off the screen. Oh my god, Mr. Blend 5000, what's going on? Well, I'll tell you. Our object has nothing to land, hit, land on. Bleh. So what we're going to do is we're going to add a monkey. That's a beautiful monkey. And you know what? No, we'll leave that up to that. That's good enough. Um, now, once we have our monkey there, we're just going to peek again and watch what happens. Shh. Oh, oh. Oh, this is laggy. But it worked, except it passed right through the monkey. Oh my god. Uh, we gotta move the monkey closer. If it gets too much velocity, then it's just gonna go right through it, and that's no good. <sighs> hope everyone's having a good day. I hope. Oh, see, there we go. Look at that. Oh, frig. Well, you get the point. You get the point. You know it's going down here. You know it's going down, boys and girls. It's, it's soft-bodied in the game engine. Now... As you noticed, when it was falling, it kept its its edges stayed the same shape, so it still kept its its square its square planar shape. Now, that's that's determined by the shape match button. If you have it turned on, it means the shape's going to match. If you have it turned off, well, let's see what happens. Oh, just move the microphone over here. Oh, oh, look at that! It doesn't keep its shape, and it's like a piece of cloth. Oh my god. So if you ever want to put a shower curtain in the game engine and have a creepy man standing behind it, because that's like one of my greatest fears, is that I'm going to open the shower curtain and there's going to be someone there. Oh, just give me shivers. You could do that now. Because you know what's going down with this. And then, yeah. That is how you do soft body in the game engine. So let's do something fun with this. Let's turn shape match back on. And we're going to head over to our top view. Oh, for freak's sakes. Top view. And we're just going to move our cursor over here and add a cube. Because cubes are all actually, actually, we're going to add a torus. I wonder if this will work. I haven't tried this yet, so bear with me. I do this a lot. But um, well, let's just try sizing it up in edit mode first. And we're just going to put it right under our little thing here. And we're going to take our monkey head and we're going to put it up here. And we're just we're just having fun now. Like this is you could, you might learn something from this. I learned something from this. This is the start to my explorations in making water. Ooh, although I'm failing somewhat miserably because my I I can't 
I just, I just can't. Okay, guys, I just can't. Don't judge me, please. And we're gonna set this to let's just do rigid body. Rigid body is always good. And we're gonna hit P key and see what happens. Oh, look at that! It's like a trampoline. Isn't that beautiful? Like, I I was so pumped when I found out how to do this. Like, I I, I was just pleased. I know it seems really easy. You just go and you know soft body high hey bada boom bada bing. But I it kind of I kind of missed it before. So yeah, I was pretty I was pretty pumped. And also I'm updating saying I did my calculus exam midterm. There's one question I couldn't get. But other than that, I think it did pretty awesome. So I'm pretty pumped about that. And this is kind of like a celebratory thing for me. I get to make a video because I love doing this. It's so fun. Anywho. Yeah, there's some soft body in the game engine for you. I mean, like, if you wanted to, you could just go, you know, go over here, give it a UV texture, um, change it over to UV imaging editor, image. Let's see if I can. Oh, what the hell? What is this? What did my computer just do? Well, let's hope it still works. And we're gonna go over to desktop, game picks, scroll it down, water texture. We're just going to open this image up, tap back to this, textured, UV, oh, yeah, that's right, alert, oh, shit, oops, sorry about language, I'll, yeah, thank you very much for showing me, for reminding me of this, I, I love this, it's nice, thank you very much, um, and then we can actually go, no, I'm not going to do that, and we're just going to hit P key, and now we have a watery rut, tramp, tramp, trampoline. Isn't that awesome? <laughs> I love this. Anyhow, I hope you're having a wonderful day and I'll I will video to you later.